Hi, we are welcome to another episode of What Talk Crypto, right here on Crypto Biz Media, where we bring you the latest news and news in the cryptocurrency space. My name is Rock, and here are the top stories for this. Nigeria and France central banks to join blockchain oriented Hyperledger Foundation. Ukrainians to shop online with crypto using Binance Pay. Starbucks reveals plans to integrate NFTs into its loyalty program. Despite the restriction, possession of Bitcoin is still lawful in China, according to a lawyer. Now the details. Nigeria and France central banks to join blockchain-oriented Hyperledger Foundation. Hyperledger, a blockchain association, recently announced the addition of eight new members, two of which are central banks, the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Bank de France. Indeed, the Hyperledger Foundation announced the new addition in a press release on September 12, along with Siruto Group, Casper Labs, Digital Identity Laboratory of Canada, International Association of Trusted Blockchain Applications, BCW Group, and DSL Corporation. Meanwhile, the Hyperledger Global Forum begins on September 12, the largest annual gathering of the international Hyperledger community, where members, service providers, and end users congregate to discuss ideas, share experiences, and build collaborations. Ukrainians to shop online with crypto using Binance Pay. Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by daily trading volume, and Ukraine's grocery chain, Varus, have launched a collaboration that will allow Ukrainian shoppers to buy groceries and other commodities online using digital tokens. Customers can use the Binance and Varus applications to make rapid crypto payments and receive fast delivery in nine Ukrainian cities. To use the payment option, Cryptocurrency owners must first download and install the Binance app on their Android or iOS phone. Then, they can go to the Varus website, choose the items they want to purchase, and send the digital money from their Binance Pay wallet. Starbucks reveals plans to integrate NFTs into its loyalty program. According to the coffee company, loyal customers and staff will be able to earn and purchase digital collectibles that would grant access to new benefits and immersive experiences. Customers and partners are being urged to sign up for a waitlist for Starbucks Odyssey, which is set to begin later this year. Here is what the Executive Vice President of Starbucks, Brady Brewer, said about the new development. Leveraging Web3 technology will allow our members to access experiences and ownership that was not possible before. Starbucks Odyssey will transcend the foundational benefits that our Starbucks Reward members have come to love and unlock digital, physical, and experimental benefits that are uniquely Starbucks. Ultimately, the company's vision is to create a place where our digital community can come together over a coffee, engage in immersive experiences, and celebrate the heritage and future of Starbucks. Odyssey is intended to complement the existing Starbucks reward program and is accessible using current login credentials. Despite the restriction, possession of Bitcoin is still lawful in China, according to a lawyer. Despite executing a massive cryptocurrency prohibition a year ago, the Chinese government continues to safeguard local crypto investors since crypto is considered as legal virtual property. According to David Lesperance, founder of Lesperance and Associates Law Firm, China, one of the world's most unfriendly countries against Bitcoin, has not yet banned the holding of cryptocurrency. According to a Cointelegraph story, cryptocurrency holders in China are legally protected in the event of theft, misuse, or breach of a loan agreement. Lesperance stressed that cryptocurrency exchanges remain illegal in China. The lawyer mentioned a recent Chinese court case involving a loan made in the cryptocurrency Litecoin, defendant Ding Hao failed to repay all 50,000 LTC borrowed from Zai Wenji in 2015, setting a vital court precedent in China regarding cryptocurrency. Alright, you are now updated. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe.